Welcome everyone. I hope you can hear me. So this is the sixth lecture of uh, the course. Uh, the lecture topic is mobile ad hoc networks or manet. So this is a very short topic and uh, many networks inside this category have already been covered. So it's going to be a very short lecture video. So mobile ad hoc network or manet. What is mobile ad hoc network? So it's usually a collection of wireless mobile nodes as the name suggests in order to be mobile it has to be wireless and uh, there is no centralized control that means there is no coordinator which coordinates which node will send to which node or there is no coordinator which sets up the time uh, slots for sending messages uh, without centralized control it specifically means or uh, translates to ad hoc because ad hoc means there is no uh, uh, control or infrastructure so there is no established infrastructure as well so without any infrastructure or without any centralized control uh, the communication between one node to another node can be through other nodes which is why uh, this network has multi-hop connections now this network is also highly error prone and also highly failure prone why because as the nodes are continuously moving uh, there's uh, a high percentage of error while communi uh, while uh, when communicating through movement and also there is a high level of interference because it's a wireless network uh, so inter high interference is a de facto property of wireless networks and as uh, there is a lack of infrastructure uh, there is no coordinator which will set the time or which will coordinate the communication between the devices which is why uh, this is another reason of uh, failures and errors so now the thing the term that we have uh, seen in this uh, slide many times which is infrastructure right so what is infrastructure lack of infrastructure or presence of infrastructure so based on the lack or presence of infrastructure wireless networks can be divided into infrastructured networks and infrastructure less networks which is also called ad hoc network so infrastructured wireless networks okay remember we are only talking about wireless networks here so infrastructured wireless networks uh, have uh, nodes which can also be mobile but they can uh, communicate while moving because the base station or the access point is fixed as a result when a node moves around it uh, there is no change in uh, destination so only the source is moving or when the base station is the source we can say that only the destination is moving as a result the node can the mobile node can communicate freely while moving and when the node moves from the range of that uh, base station and gets into the uh, range of another base station then it starts communicating with that base station okay so it cannot communicate with this node as a result it knows who to communicate with uh, wherever it is which is why it's not a problem to communicate while moving an example can be wide area networks or mobile networks which you have already learned and are accustomed with so infrastructure less or ad hoc wireless networks have no uh, fixed base stations okay so every node has uh, equal capability and all are equally powerful as a result there is no fixed base station and all the nodes in the network act as routers so they can relay messages of other nodes which is why it's a multi-hop architecture as I've already told you so nodes can dynamically establish routing to form network on the fly which means they can communicate with each other and form uh, or apply routing protocols or form routing tables if required while they are moving okay so they can they can establish routing while moving so these are some examples of applications of manet but these are only some there are actually many examples to uh, uh, mention but I, I could not mention all of them these are just a few of them so tactical networks okay military communication and operations so these are applications where you need to form networks very quickly and uh, there is no time to form an infrastructure or to form a base station and uh, uh, people let's say for example in the battlefield are always moving which is why automated battlefields military communication operations these tactical networks are uh, made pretty quickly and man it comes very handy in this case so other uh, another example of quickly forming networks is uh, 
search and rescue operations, disaster recovery, policing and fire fighting. So these three, okay, supporting doctors and nurses in hospitals, they can be uh, they can be required to do quickly, or they might be a slow process as well. But the top three, policing and firefighting, disaster recovery, search and rescue operations, all of these are emergency services which require forming the network very quickly so that the, the disaster uh, can be held, held uh, can be dealt with. Uh, the fire, uh, if, if there's a fire, whether that can be dealt with properly or not, ex uh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, okay. So in case of supporting doctors and nurses in hospitals, uh, it might be uh, for emergency response. So even in case of emergency response, actually the network can be formed quite easily. Uh, even then, it, it is a mobile ad hoc network because the, the doctors and patients can be moving from time to time. So uh, another example of Manet uh, or many other examples can include a home and enterprise networks, entertainment, sensor network so sensor networks also fall under mobile ad hoc network but remember uh, if the nodes are fixed in case of sensor ad hoc networks they do not fall under a mobile ad hoc networks okay but if the nodes are moving which is actually the case for most sensor networks uh, or many sensor networks then it will fall under uh, mobile ad hoc networks and there are also commercial and civilian environment uses so in case of home and enterprise networks uh, wireless networking in home and office if there is no access point then any wireless network uh, at home or office falls under mobile ad hoc network and in case of conference and meeting rooms uh, usually uh, as conferences and meeting rooms can be formed very quickly uh, and for example in in case of conferences uh, it's a temporary event which is why uh, um, forming an ad hoc network has its benefits and personal area networks also include uh, mobile ad hoc net sorry are also included in mobile ad hoc networks as we have seen many applications of personal area networks and they are also uh, structure infrastructure less and examples of uh, entertainment can be multi user games or uh, outdoor internet access so in case of multi user games we all use uh, uh, we, we all use applications in mobiles which are online multiplayer games so all of those do not have any infrastructure right and in case of uh, and they're also mobile because we are carrying the mobile while playing those games and in case of uh, out, uh, outdoor internet access so in this uh, scenario what happens is uh, forming a, an internet outdoor is temporary because it will be removed very quickly and also obviously as it's outdoor it requires movement so the people using the internet will be moving which is why uh, Manet is uh, a perfect uh, example of using in case of outdoor internet access. So this this is a comparison between a cellular network and a mobile ad hoc network. And as you can see, in case of cellular network, there is a central base station which does not move, and the mobile carriers they can move and communicate with the base station, but the area is fixed, which is the cell. Okay, as you can see the outline of the cells. In case of mobile ad hoc network, there is no fixed station, okay? The wireless uh, device that you see, the black one, even if it's not there, the mobile ad hoc network can be present. So as a result, it, it proves that even uh, uh, even if there might be an access point, uh, sorry, not an access point, I even if there might be an antenna, a fixed antenna, it doesn't mean that it's a, a fixed network. So it can also be a mobile ad hoc network in that case. So in, the, in this example, as you can see, mobile laptops, uh, all of them are connected together, but not directly. For example, uh, for example, this mobile can communicate with that mobile only through this uh, route, or for example, this route or this route. Okay, so they have to communicate with each other through uh, multi-hub communication. Okay. So uh, as I've already said, Manet covers a very broad range of networks. So many net many uh, networks that we have learned, for example, personal networks, wireless sensor networks, etc., they fall under mobile ad hoc networks. As a result, the protocols are ever changing and constantly being updated because they cover a large area of networks. So the Internet Engineering Task Force or IETF creates the standards and documentations for different kinds of managed technologies. Okay, and I've given the link here, uh, which uh, which is the a website for uh, IETF and it contains different charters and different rules starting from let's say the 1990s to even current day okay 
so that's about it for today's lecture and if you have any questions as usual you can ask whenever you want